Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm here to uh, secure my uh, radiator. And as you can see, I'm pretty much like uh, almost done with my uh, exhaust manifold or top mount uh, turbo manifold and all that. And also the wastegate has been situated. And so it's about time for me just to uh, secure this one. And the plan for today is And also, uh, I'm going to take back what I said that I have uh, ordered a, uh, a wrong radiator. I said something about that there's not enough meat holding this thing. But there is. I kind of goofed on that one. I went ahead and uh, at the time, I went ahead and put some masking tape over it. And all I can see is the exposed part right here. So there's plenty of uh, place to, uh, to put on. So it's a good thing I don't have to add any uh, plate or anything like that. But let me just show you what I have planned. I have these two grommet and more like a spacer or bushing, if you can call it. This is what I'm going to use to tie it in my uh, radiator. I'm going to drill a hole and put this uh, grommet on there. And then use this. Why I plan to do it like this, it's, it's for vibration. That way I won't put any stress on here if I secure this uh, this radiator with all that heavy with water in it and everything and I might I thought I, I could you know it creates some so much vibration that it might uh, put a stress and crack this bracket here or I don't know if it happened yet but I just don't want to find out some people probably have no problem with it but anyway uh, that's what I uh, I'm planning and my intention and also at the bottom I'm gonna put a, a rubber underneath this I'm gonna slip this through I cut this slit this through and I'm gonna put it on there just put a, an RTV on there so it will be secure on there so pretty much the weight of this uh, radiator together with water inside it'll be right in this frame and I don't have to worry about this wearing out or anything like that it's because it has a rubber and also this will hold it also at the same time it's more like uh, you know how the OEM is the system it has a rubber piece right in that area right there you know that two pegs is on it except that this one is just the the reverse it will be bolted here but still able to vibrate just to uh, to get that this will uh, minimize the, the shock wave going through this bracket. So that's what I have planned. I'm just gonna put a dab of uh, sealant on there. Not much. Since the weight of the, uh, the radiator will, uh, will keep it in place. But I just want to make sure uh, I got something to stick onto. Make sure I'm, I'm right in the center. Put some where I'm gonna drill a hole. So I'm just gonna use that hole right there. Just gonna use the edge. So it looks like it 
needs to go this way a bit. There. Okay. So now I need to mark. Where's my pencil? Okay. So in case it vibrates, since I have a, a rubber at, underneath, it won't squeak. Hopefully it won't squeak. Well, that's the plan. I'm gonna drill one hole then I'm gonna go see what it look like on the other side that way I don't end up having a two holes that they don't work So it looks like uh, I should have done it just below it. Oh, but I have enough room for the nut. Well, I'm gonna make that thing bigger anyway, so I'm gonna bring it down a little. Securely, secure this. Then I'm gonna drill, drill a hole on the other side. Then I'm just gonna widen the hole on this aluminum. That'll be next. Then I'm good. I just got done with this one. I just used a razor blade and cut off some material. Let's see, this is the original. And this is after. Come on, get in there. So that's what it looked. Insert this. And I'm going to bolt it through. I painted the uh, the holes that I made. I put a primer on there, please.
Okay. <sighs> Not bad. So now I just needed to uh, make the uh, necessary plumbing right there. I thought I have enough material here to uh, cover this project. I ordered a, um, a 90 degree uh, fitting and according to the uh, schedule it should be coming in today. Hopefully I'll get it before uh, the end of the day and that way I can finish the shop. This is using to 45 degree. It can be done. It's almost directly there but the problem is when this motor starts flexing so I'm afraid that you I'll be pulling this then I'm gonna end up uh, pulling this radiator so I have to come up with something with a little flex something it's either I don't wanna. Hmm. I still have uh, any, uh, what do you call that, uh, charge pipe coming out from here. So that's by using a straight. I'll figure this out. I think I got it all figured out. So I'm gonna use a one straight and a 45. And I just remembered from a previous build, I have one of these uh, insert stainless steel insert just to prevent it from collapsing. So I'm gonna cut it so and then give it a twist and end up room. So this will be, well, I'm going to see what I could try, I mean, and then I'm going to put this in an angle or so. I know it's kind of weird, it'll be nice if I can have it uh, like a straight here, but it'll be in an angle. But I needed that loom for that motor when it flex. This I can do. And as far as this one at the bottom, I'm going to use another straight also. I could use a 45, but having a 45 will be too close here. With a straight, I have clearance on both sides, the starter and the transmission. Like that. It will be perfect. So now I'm missing one straight. Now 45 is it's gonna be in an angled because it's gonna go directly at the starter. Or I can have it in an angle. I, don't, I really don't want to buy any more fitting. It's because of the uh, the intake pipes will still be will be fighting for more room and yeah, that three inch pipe is gonna be out here yeah okay well pretty much like everyone already know how to make this fitting connected to the hose so I'm not even gonna show that one just to save me some time and we'll see how it goes.
this is the love and hate relationship right here that you can pretty much like uh, swear or call every god there is out there let's give this thing a try Maybe the house is too long. Hey, do it. Okay, don't worry about this one here. What I should have done is, uh, oh, it's swivel. Okay. Yeah, the kink and everything, once the uh, water pressurizes it, it will go to, a, to its normal state, I hope. Providing I have the I have the correct length on there. Showed up. Inflatable. <laughs> How nice of them that uh, put in the box like that. It's good that I can finish my work. It's all I need. Okay. Do a measurement and uh, cut it and put it on. I'm gonna give it enough slack. Cause I wanted to uh, be able to uh, like kind of use this as a securing point but not enough to push that radiator I got this hose from uh, Earl's or Earl Performance. This is different than what you could buy at the, uh, you know, those cheap ones on eBay. This one cost me 18 bucks a foot. So uh, I got like two feet of these. Yeah, there is a difference. I thought these hoses will be the same, but it's not. My aluminum wrench is starting to lose its grip. The jaw is kind of messed up. It started to slip through, so uh, I went to my uh, trusty hardware store or tool store. You know where it is, Harbor Freight. I know I should not be using this, but I just wanted to finish the job. So I just put some uh, masking tape over it. This is 
that's it. Let's go ahead and secure all of this because I am done with this. See how my radiator moves? That's how I like it. You know, it moves accordingly. Yeah, icing of the cake. The damn thing won't turn. There you go. Right. We're good. It's on there. I'm all good to go. The wastegate is in. Power steering is already done. Alternator also. So now it will be the intercooler is next. That will be on the next uh, episode. Well, I'm going to end the video here. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next year. Happy New Year, year 2022. Have a safe one guys. Bye bye everyone.